Hello and welcome to the Ups and Downs of Nicolas Cage, where every week we take a look at the best and the worst that Nicolas Cage has to offer. Um, and as you probably guessed by the title, the length of this, or the fact there's no musical introduction, there is no podcast episode for today. Um, I wanted to make one. I really did. I was searching all weekend and for all of today for anywhere to find this movie. And I couldn't find anything. Today's movie was supposed to be uh, David Lynch's 1990 film, Wild at Heart, starring Nicolas Cage, Laura Dern, and Willem Dafoe. But let me tell you, I did some searching, and I could find this nowhere. I looked on Amazon. It was not available anywhere. It didn't even show up as a search result on my Fire Stick. I looked online, went through about 10 pages of Google, and I could find nowhere. No back alley Chinese website with Spanish subtitles that take up half the screen. The only place I managed to find it was on iTunes, but it was only available on the Australian version. And I tried to purchase it, and it wouldn't allow me because I'm not in Australia. And so I tried using a VPN to purchase it from Australia. And then that didn't work because the VPN I was using didn't allow me to make purchases with it. And so I decided at 4 p.m. Uh, that I would just skip today. And if I managed to find uh, a version of it later on, I'll cover it as a bonus episode. But for now, all I can do is just... Uh, talk about the synopsis of the film. I can't give an opinion on it. I can't rate it. I can't rate Nicolas Cage in it. Uh, I can't even say if Nicolas Cage dies in it or not. Uh, What I can say is that this Friday, I'll be back on schedule. I'll be reviewing the film Grand Isle, and on Monday, I'll be reviewing the film The Croods. So this is just a one-time blip, and I'll be back to the norm of following this Friday. So with that, the synopsis of the film. Lula's psychopathic mother goes crazy at the thought of Lula being with Sailor, Nicholas Cage, who just got free from jail. Ignoring Sailor's probation, they set out for California. However, her mother hires a killer to hunt down Sailor. Unaware of this, the two enjoy their journey and themselves being together until they witness a young woman dying in a car accident. A bad omen. Uh, David Lynch is a very stylized director. He's known for very bizarre, very weird films. Uh, He's directed films like Eraserhead, Blue Velvet... He did the Twin Peaks series, um, Blue Velvet, and this was supposedly one of his uh, most normal films. This is one of his most mainstream films. And I was looking forward to uh, watching it, but I couldn't. No use crying over uh, spilt milk. And that's it for this uh, brief episode of The Ups and Downs of Nicolas Cage. I'm not even doing an ad break. It's so short. Um, Don't let this episode be a uh, marker for what you think it is if you haven't seen it before. Um, I still have plenty of other episodes that I've made in the past. Listen to those again if you want. Share with your friends and families. All the usual stuff. Uh, Thank you for listening to this episode and have a wonderful day.